in case you can tell from my, excuse me, garb. I just came back from outside, did a bit of computer work at the library, and although it's been a warm day for this time of season, so warm in fact that the snow is pretty much gone. Because of the cold weather, my shoulder is killing me. So let's do number four. I was putting my top lip. And by no means strong, even by comparison to the actual strengths it gets. The flavor is pretty much immediate. I'm getting that tingly sensation. And when I do touch it with my tongue, the flavor does get a little, little burst. The pain in my shoulder is gone, but the pain in my elbow just came up. So let's see if this stuff gets rid of that. Yeah, that thing that's happening Friday was at the library doing that, taking care of that. I can do it here, but I need an excuse to go outside. I try and find an excuse to go outside at least once a day. The Tingling sensation is getting almost at the border of being uncomfortable and my publisher just sent me a message. Oh well, I'll get back to it when I'm done this video. But it's almost Uncomfortable, like just a little more, and I'd be going, Oh, fuck me, this isn't enjoyable. Like, even right now, it's tolerable. By no means pleasant, but tolerable. Oddly enough, and this is quite shocking considering it was pretty much reverse when I put it in my arpalip, but though it's not even been four minutes, but I'm getting no flavor whatsoever. I'm actually trying to salivate and more or less try and force that flavor out. But to no avail. Uh, It's coming. <coughs> it is coming now. And when I sw when I just swallowed it, 
like that. Tingle is in my throat now, or on my throat, not in my throat, like down here. It's on my throat, like right about here. Uh, well, I mean, I have been swallowing these the entire time and felt no ill effects. Hmm. Oh, um, the order that I'll be putting in for Northerner, um, or from Northerner, because, well, unfortunately, I am unaware of anybody else in regards to the products I'm specifically looking for this time, anyways. I was going to put it in at the end of this month, but, well, <coughs> I'm a pipe smoker more than I am one of Snooze Guy. So I'm going to be putting in an order for pipe tobacco anyway, for pipe tobacco instead, it's just, I'm not entirely sure. what type of tobacco I want to get. My go-to daily, not just even daily, like multiple times a day and smoke is Granger. And I'm not necessarily looking to replace Granger, but I'd like to try other over-the-counter blends, which unfortunately I just simply cannot find anywhere in Ontario. I once found my regular tobacconist once had Prince Albert in a pouch. And to give you Americans an idea of just how expensive tobacco prices are, well, a pouch of Prince Albert. I didn't ask what the price is, I'm just going by something along the lines of Captain Black, but I, well, I'll use Captain Black then. A pouch of Captain Black is well over 35 bucks. And although I've never seen Snooze in Canada, though. In Snooze's defense, I haven't been really looking out for it. I am aware of one tobacconist in... I think Kitchener, which does carry Siberia. And they do ship online, but I mean, even... Let me put it to you this way, for what I get, which is pipe tobacco, even if I get dinged by customs, it's just cheaper to go to the US. But anyways, I once found Prince Albert and it would have been around 35 to 40 bucks for a pouch. And that's for a pouch. I want to get a tub. I mean, for that price, I can get a tub of Prince Albert for just a little more. So this time I'll be getting, like, my last order was Sir Walter Riley, if you've been watching these Let's Tries. The last order was Sir Walter Riley, which is pretty good. I was going to pick up Velvet, but I'm under the impression that Velvet has this cherry topping, which is making me more than a little hesitant because I am just not a fan of cherry.
what I might end up doing is ordering a cup of something else. I'm not sure what so. And ordering an ounce or two bulk of velvet. That's that way I can try it and I'm not stuck with a tub. Unfortunately, in the move I've misplaced or simply lost all but one of my mason jars. Fortunately, my bulk tobacco was used up at that at that point. So I by no means lost any tobacco in those jars, but I have lost my mason jars. So I'm gonna have to replace those because I do plan on ordering in bulk again. Especially if the Scandinavian Tobacco Group decides to sell the Peterson rebranded Dunhill pipe tobaccos in bulk. The flavor is there, but oddly enough, it's weaker than when I was putting it in my top lip end. I mean, considering all the other samples I've tried, though, this is my first time putting this in my book. All these times when I've been doing these videos. Was the first time putting it in my bottom lip. But all the other examples of flavor has been stronger. This time it's just simply not barely there. So final rating, hmm. 58. I think the upper lip, it was a 60. This is a 58. And that's a generous rating, all things considered. I'm tempted to go down to 55. But because what little flavor is there, that is there, I am enjoying, I'm hesitant to give it a 55, I'm giving it a 58. If you do get these, and I do suggest you get some C4, well, definitely put, don't put number one in your bottom lip. Don't put number one in your bottom lip, just just don't put put it in your top but the rest i mean if you get some i suggest putting the putting them in your upper lip where it's traditionally used for no other reason than that what little flavor that is there lasts longer though so again number two and potentially number five there was pretty much no flavor in fact number two i might even go far so far as to say start with the bottom and then walk it to the top if you want to i don't know i might actually have to do that so i really don't want to do another video doing that This is going to sound very bizarre, but I mean the pouch is right about here. My teeth seem to be getting some flavor. Not necessarily that I'm getting any flavor sensation on my from my teeth. I mean, teeth are just pretty much bone, for lack of a better term, but 
where my tongue is picking up the flavor, it's... Picking up the flavor from the teeth. But again, that's not, that's not going to affect my rating. It's just a uh, pointer I feel like putting out there. And I feel a burp coming on. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me, but I did feel good. Once I end this, which is going to be hopefully soon, I'm pretty much going to take this out, grab a new one of number four, and put it in my top lip. Oh yeah. Pain here. Less pain there. No pain on my shoulder. Yeah, again, just to put it out of the way, yeah, that's pretty much why I decided to do this video. I felt like taking this for the pain. Take care, everybody, and bye.